The dangers of certain jobs not always seen in a tow driver at a very close call that was caught on camera. That's right. Action 7 News reporter John Cardinelli joins us now. And John, the video has led law enforcement to make an arrest. Yes, Shelley and Doug, a tow driver for Madrid Towing had a strange feeling before being asked to tow a vehicle in downtown Albuquerque. So he hooked up his body camera to his truck. What was caught on video has led to a felon being taken off the street and the driver thankful he's alive. It all started with a routine call to Madrid towing. Morning, we got the phone call uh, from a, a business owner downtown. Said he had a car he needed uh, picked up because it was left, it was parked illegally on his property. The car was in this parking lot near 2nd and Central. So one of Gerald Madrid's drivers was dispatched to the call. The driver told Madrid he had attempted to tow the same car in the past. And he said, I've dealt with this guy before and, and the guy's very dangerous. Here is video from Thursday morning of the car being pulled away from the parking lot. Madrid's driver chose to attach his body camera to the truck. In particular case, he, he was wise enough to put the camera on the back of the truck facing backwards so he was able to capture everything that we have now on camera. What happens next is unthinkable. And on the way back to the yard, the owner of the car found out and they, they pursued him and at some point caught up with him. In this video, you can see a silver SUV pull up behind the tow truck at a red light. A man walks out, grabs a gun from the vehicle being towed, and fires the gun. The tow driver speeds up. Here is some of the damage. The truck was struck several times. The, the shooter was shooting at the driver. He was shooting at him. And he wasn't shooting to wound. I'm sure he was shooting to kill him. So easy, he could have easily killed this driver. Because of the video camera attached to the tow truck and the fact an ID and social security card were left in the vehicle, it didn't take long for police to identify a suspect and arrest 44-year-old Antoine Woods. I do want to give credit to the Albuquerque Police Department for, for their help in this matter, getting this individual in custody quickly. Woods is charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. However, more charges may be coming for Woods. Looking into Woods' criminal history, court records show he has previously been convicted for a felony sex offense in the state of Tennessee and previously pled guilty to a felon in possession of a firearm charge in Indiana. He could have handled this very, very easily. Uh, he is the registered owner of the car. We would have released it to him if this incident wouldn't have happened. Pay our fees, sign the paperwork, he's out the door. He could have been in his car already. And Woods made his first appearance in court today, and a motion was filed for a pretrial detention. No date has been set for that hearing. I'm John Cardinelli reporting KOAT Action 7 News. Woods had several charges brought before him in New Mexico, including multiple domestic violence charges.